Hi, I'm Joe Williams, Campaigns and Communications Officer for the Fire Brigade Union. I'm joined again by General Secretary Matt Rack. Matt, um, two years of negotiations now, uh, industrial action has taken place. What exactly is the FBU so concerned about with the government's proposals on pensions? Well, I think despite uh, the nearly three years now of negotiations during which we've presented a huge amount of evidence, uh, the government hasn't moved on the key issues. And the key concerns, I suppose, cutting them down as, as, as closely as we can are around, uh, we, we want a affordable, sustainable and fair pension scheme that takes account of the occupation that our members do, which is firefighting. We don't have that currently. So for different groups of members, there are, we have large numbers of members in the firefighters pension scheme, for example, who joined the fire service, uh, were asked, encouraged to join a pension scheme, signed up to it, they've paid in for many, many years thousands and thousands of pounds into a scheme and the government comes along and rips up that agreement and says we're, we're terminating that you're now going on to a new scheme. that's outrageous uh, and those members are rightly very angry we've then got uh, the, the the scheme that in our view doesn't work it doesn't take account of firefighting it doesn't take account of the fitness demands of the fire service uh, and we've highlighted that through the, the idea of no job, no pension, i.e. that as people get older their fitness declines, they won't reach the fitness standards of the fire service uh, and they won't be able to claim their full pension. So uh, it's developed now, we, we hear uh, some people saying that people have got a choice at that point, they can either choose to take uh, a massively reduced pension, reduced by almost half, or they can face the sack. Well, it's not much of a choice to face the sack after paying into a pension scheme for 35 years, and that's the risk uh, that, we, that we've identified then. Now, I suppose the third main area, there's others as well, but the third main area is about the cost of the scheme. Firefighters are paying a huge amount. And when you talk to, even when you talk to politicians, other members of the public, whatever, people are taken aback by how much firefighters are paying you. Uh, firefighters paying something, most firefighters, currently paying about £3,800 on basic salary. That's a huge amount to be paying in every year into a pension scheme. Uh, expected now to rise to 4000 or more next year from April. So again, it's about the affordability and members on the back of having low pay rises for a number of years, pay freezes before that, people are increasingly struggling to pay the bills and stay in the pension. So the government's counterclaims are, of course, that the, uh, the pensions offer is uh, one of the most generous in the public and private sector. Is that not the case? It's a ridiculous claim. Uh, and it's, it's outrageous that it comes from ministers because one of the most generous pension schemes in the public sector is the one that the ministers are actually on themselves. And they're the very people who are attacking our pension scheme and who are much better paid than most uh, firefighters and therefore more able to afford to, to stay in their scheme. So it's not the most generous. In terms of the proportion that firefighters put in compared with what their employer puts in, it's one of the least generous in the public sector uh, and indeed it's one of the most expensive schemes for workers anywhere in the public or private sector. So we don't accept that it's one of the most generous schemes at all. So amongst those various uh, concerns, the one that's probably caught the attention of the public most is the one around no jobs, no pension. What, what do we mean by that? Well, we mean that uh, they, uh, the, the scheme needs to take account of the physical demands of firefighting. So that means sending people into burning buildings is a hugely physically demanding job. But other work that firefighters do, going up and down ladders, running out hose, these, are, these have all been measured at various times and very physically demanding uh, indeed. And it, it's reasonable and it's legally expected of employers, they shouldn't be sending people to do jobs if they're not fit enough to do, because that puts everyone at risk. It puts the individual firefighter, but it, other members of the crew at risk, and indeed the members of the public whose, whose property it might be. So it's, it's a completely unsafe practice. So people need to be fit enough to do the job, uh, and th therefore the pension scheme needs to be designed to take account of the job that we actually do. There are no redeployment opportunities, we've demonstrated that very clearly, so people can't be put into desk jobs or given specialist roles, that means they're not firefighting. Firefighters have to meet the demands of the role map, which means they have to be fit enough to undertake the role of a firefighter. Uh, and the pension scheme doesn't uh, address that, and therefore there is this risk as people get older, don't meet the fitness standards because of age-related fitness decline, uh, that they face this risk of not getting their full pension 
or facing dismissal. Okay, well the government's other claim of course is that the FBU has walked away from negotiations. Uh, uh, what's the deal with that? That's completely uh, untrue. That's not the case at all. We've attended every meeting that we've been invited to attend. In fact, I think the, uh, before the, the last period of strike action, when that claim was again made by communities and local government, the day before we'd been in Wales meeting the Welsh Minister and the day before that we'd been uh, in, in a discussion with the Scottish uh, Government and Employer. We we're regularly meeting the English Fire and Rescue Service employers, so we're not uh, remotely walking away from any discussions. We've made clear to, to Brandon Lewis uh, and any minister anywhere in the UK, we will meet them at any time uh, to try and resolve this dispute. Yeah, thanks very much. Together we don't stand